What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Our, Our Love, love kitchen, kitchen, where we make love every Tuesday. That's getting easier. <laughs> it is. It's like natural. My name is Travis. And I'm Shauna. For those of you who are new here, welcome. For those of you who have been coming around, thank you for watching this video and thank you for joining us. In today's video, we are going to make a Moroccan pizza. It's something that I've been making over the last, I don't know how many years, but it's always a hit whenever somebody tries it. So I really wanted to share it with you guys. And, um, and it's also macro friendly. So I want to share it with you guys. <laughs> so for this recipe, you're going to need red, yellow, and orange bell peppers. And you're just gonna chop them up real small, or big, as big or as small as you like. But I like to cut mine a little bit small and spread them out um, throughout the entire pizza. You're gonna need some chicken. You can use chicken breast or you can use chicken thigh. I prefer chicken thigh because chicken breast is just way too dry for me. Um, I already cooked it. So I chopped it up in small pieces, seasoned it with salt, pepper, and paprika. And then, um, yeah, this is 18 ounces here but you can add or as, as little or as much as you want. Um, so for all of these ingredients, it's the macros in on shanamariebead.com. That's for all of this. So I don't know if we're gonna use everything, but um, yeah, you can use as much or as little as whatever you want. Then you're gonna need, a, this is two ounces of olive oil. You really wanna be careful with olive oil. You know, people look at olive oil and they're like, oh, it's healthy. It's better, it's a better option, but olive oil is loaded with fat and calories. So this little teeny, teensy, teensy bit of olive oil is loaded. I mean, it, it has a lot. And this is what <laughs> Stop. I love the little baby. Stop. This is what Don't happens. Don't talk about my food like that. Next, you're going to need some minced garlic, one tablespoon and goat cheese <laughs> and again with the goat cheese you can add as little or as much as you want i love goat cheese so ideally i would like to add two containers but because it is cheese and cheese is high in fat i'm trying to be a little bit careful because i am tracking my food and then you're gonna have i have a mix of um, different spices here so i'm just gonna tell you exactly what's in it here. So I have one table, or there's one tablespoon of minced garlic, one fourth teaspoons of chili powder, a half a teaspoon of ground turmeric, one teaspoon of rosemary, one teaspoon of paprika, and then one teaspoon of ground cumin. Last but not least, cauliflower pizza crust. And I like to use this one because it is um, just a little bit better for you. It's a little bit lower in carbs. You can use regular pizza crust, but this allows you to live life on the veg a little bit more. <laughs> you couldn't wait to say that. No, I just can't. That's why you bought this one. No, it's not. You this so you can have this oh on God. camera and be like, live life on the veg. That is not true. <laughs> I always use this one. I've never tried other cauliflower pizza crust. This is the okay. one that I like the most. I'll let you be great. <laughs> so there's two in this one pack. And I will um, link the brand in the description box if you guys are curious. It's a, a good option if you're conscious of things like that. Otherwise, just use regular pizza crust, whatever you want. But the macros are gonna be for this one. Okay, so to begin, the first thing you wanna do is heat up, after you cook your chicken, you wanna heat up a saucepan. You also wanna preheat your oven to 425, which is, uh, or whatever the directions are for the pizza crust that you use, you wanna do that, preheat it to that. So the first thing you're gonna do is pour the olive oil in the saucepan like so. The next step is to put the garlic in the saucepan. And the garlic is gonna get a little um, like burnt and that's okay. And then you wanna put the seasonings in there. 
Originally, you don't want the garlic, or you don't want the olive oil to be too hot. Like this is probably too hot. I'm definitely burning the garlic, but it's okay. So you just want it to, you just want the, the spices to give off the aroma. Oh my gosh. Mm, and that's perfect. So, and that's really it. It's just a couple minutes. All this is is spice infused oil. So it's just um, real simple, just a couple minutes. So now that the olive oil is infused, you just want to take a sifter and you wanna um, pour this through the sifter so that it catches all the rosemary and the garlic chunks because you don't want that on your pizza. Unless you want it on your pizza. Unless you want it on your pizza, but I bet you probably don't. Normally you don't want the garlic to be black when you're done, <laughs> but you know. The oil was just too hot. It really was too hot. What are you trying to say about black garlic? So next you'll take your cauliflower crust, get a little brush for the oil we just sift, sifted, and brush it on. And again, you can add as much or as little as you want. There, that little amount really does go a long way, so you're not gonna need to like overpower it. Now it's really tasty and Andrea, those of you who follow my vlogs know that Andrea is my best friend and she loves this pizza and she usually takes the leftover sauce and dips it in, which is loaded with fat, but it is extremely tasty. So it really just depends on your personal preference, how much you wanna brush on there, but probably using one ounce of that is plenty which is great for my macros because I'm really hungry. That looks beautiful. Good job, babe. You're so, you're so good at this, babe. Thank you. I did it by myself. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Now that these, um, the infused oil is on the pizza crust, we're gonna take all of the ingredients, starting with the chicken, and this crust is kind of small, so I'm probably not gonna use all this chicken, but I'm gonna try to get as much of it on here as possible. Just put as much or as little as you want. Oh, I might get it on. Mm, I'm so hungry too, oh my gosh. I'm about to tear this joint up. You're talking about me after the crabs. That's <laughs> how I'm gonna be. Next, we'll put the peppers on. Can you use your hand? I can also just use my skill. It's just And now, last but not least, you want to get your goat cheese. And again, as much as a little as you want. I get the crumbled one because goat cheese is very um, soft and it just sticks together really easily. If you don't get it pre-crumbled, then it's kind of a pain in the butt. And I know some people might not like goat cheese, but give it a chance on this pizza because it really makes it, it makes such a big difference. If you don't use goat cheese, it, it's not gonna be the same, in my opinion. Would you agree? Um, Cause you've had this before. It, uh, goat cheese is different than other cheese so I can see it making a difference. Did you like this pizza when you tried it, right? Yeah, it was good. It doesn't sound convincing. <laughs> it was good. Yeah, it was, it was yeah. good. Yeah. Mm. I think we got all the cheese out of there. <laughs> Next, after you clean your fingers, <laughs> We'll be putting the cheese in the oven for about how long? The cheese. The pizza in the oven for about how long? For about 10 minutes. All right, so the pizza is out of the oven. It is perfect. 10 minutes was optimal and we're gonna cut it. Okay, now the moment of truth. Don't waste you. It tastes good. Good? It's not like it's crab legs, but. 
It tastes good. So was it easy to make? Yeah, very. Would you make it again? No, because you're going to make it. <laughs> would you make it with me? Sure. What would you rate it from 1 to 10? Um, I get a, I'd give it a 7 even. Mm -hmm. Really? What? A seven? Okay. A seven's good. Everybody's palette is different. Andrea would give it a, a 12. Okay. okay, that's fair. I give it a 10 out of 10. <laughs> Donald Trump is fantastic. Fantastically fantastic. <laughs> I give it a million out of a gazillion million. Anywho, if you guys like this recipe, if you want to try this recipe, let me know if you're going to try it. If you have already tried it at this point, if you're watching this later, then let me know. Don't forget to take a picture of your finished result and post it on Instagram and tag us at Our Love Kitchen on Instagram. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up because it really helps us out and share it with all of your friends. If you have any recipes, suggestions, things that you want us to make, also let us know that in the comments because we'd love to do some recipes that you guys want to see, not just things that we want to share. So yeah, and don't forget to tune in next time on Tuesday, the day we always make love in, in the, the kitchen. kitchen. Howdy folks, it's old Travaroo here, making it do what it do. I should just randomly appeared right beside father. Didn't I? It's not recording. Oh. Life, live life on the vague. <laughs> you being serious? Are you being serious? Mm -hmm. Are you being serious? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Live life on the vague. <laughs> you better be joking, because I've been looking at you very differently. Oh my gosh, it's so weird. Hey. Ew, why are you gonna stuff that nasty It's not dirty. It's so weird. Shh, quiet on the set. Shut up. <laughs> What's going on, Kim? Oh, wow, crossing channels. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you. What TV set has to deal with a 10 year old yelling? Be quiet. <laughs> Gee, Willikers. <laughs> what are you trying to sift? Oh, the garlic and something. I just did it small. Time to get sifty. Really? <laughs> What? And you were talking about my joke? That I don't want to hear insane. anything about my joke. That was on the fly. Mine was on the fly. No, it was not. Yes, it was. You went to the store. I did not. Because you might even practice in the store glass. You're such a joke. on the bed. <laughs> store glass, really? Come here, babe. Get your in here. Now, don't make my me what? ask you again. Get my what? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> need to back off the garlic on the pizza. No, it's not. <laughs> what? I was hitting It does not smell like wool. <laughs> oh, my 
my god. And so, that was so good. And cut. This piece is terrible. <laughs> wow. If you don't like it, don't eat it. Babe. We're like, I'm gonna clean it up. And you're gonna go play your game. I'm just gonna be here six hours later. I'm gonna clean it up.